Okay. Now, let's take our Swiss meringue, Swiss meringue buttercream into our piping bag. I have a 13 millimeter tip on here. And we're gonna pipe a ring of buttercream around the outer edge of our cake. So, there's a 13 millimeter tip here. That's on purpose. I have planned out exactly that my cake will end up four inches high based on my filling layer size, my cake layer size. So when I pipe this, I don't want it, let's show you on the parchment. I don't want you, I don't want it squished like this. I want it to fall the exact size that it is. See the difference? Okay. So let's let this be the size. So you don't want to go too fast either because then it'll stretch. We don't want stretching. Now, one of the recipes also as part of this is um, this white chocolate vanilla bean ganache. This is a very rich cake, but it's really awesome. And when you cut pieces of this cake, as you will see, you want to cut, because it's very tall, you want to cut really thin slices because it's very rich, it's super yummy, and people are not gonna be able to eat a very large piece. Trust me on that one. All right, then to make it look really cute, you can either crush up pepper, whoa, crush up peppermint candies, or I have these Andes, whoa, that's a falling all over the place. Andy's Peppermint Crunch. And they're really cute. Mm. Yummy. You can crush up the peppermint candies. Um, they will kind of start to melt, but they have a different um, crunch to them than these do, but these will stay just like this because they're a chocolate-based deal. So they're not gonna melt at all. Um, you know, peppermint candies are um, sugar, so they will start to kind of melt. They won't break down all the way, and they won't be like gooey or anything, but. Okay, we put on our next layer of cake, and we can take our spatula, just kind of smooth that over a little bit. All right, then we soak again. I call it a soak, but don't like soak, soak it, if that makes sense. Just brush it. Just get a little bit of moisture on there and add a little bit of flavor. It's subtle, but it's definitely there and it's fun. Okay. Another, another layer of awesome vanilla bean ganache. Smooth it out so it's even as best you can. So that next cake layer goes on nice and even. And add some more peppermint candies. Then when this is cut in pieces, it's so cute. You get all those cute layers of color and flavor and oh my goodness, it's yummy. Can't wait for you to make it and try it. And then message us and let us know how you liked it. Now this top piece, I'm gonna flip over so that's in there and I have a perfect top. See how that works? Okay. And then I'm gonna take my piping bag again and I'm gonna go around this outer edge and the next one. Okay, and we're gonna soak the top. You can see how lightly we're doing this. Okay, and then we'll take our spatula, do it to you. Go seal in all those chocolate crumbs. 
Then let's finish off what's in our pastry bag here. Okay. All right. So this would be considered a crumb coat. I don't want to swipe that into my perfect buttercream over there and get crumbs in it. So use a different bowl. See, I'm covering up some thinner areas here. Trying to smooth it out a little bit. Okay, now we're going to clean this. Make sure we have crumbs gone. See how nice a prep board works out? And you'll see another reason why in just a second. Let's get this out of the way. 